Hi, I'm Andy and welcome to episode two of the Classic Mini K-Series build. Hi, I'm Mark. Today we're getting the roll cage all buttoned up. You ready? So we got the dash in place, just seen us cut the holes. So the way we fitted it is by using riv nuts in the bottom. I'm just going to anchor it in there, but there's going to be the dash. To be honest, I can't stand the look of the dash, but it's going to be functional. We couldn't get a normal dash in because of obviously the bars, but it's going to be functional. It's going to do the job. I don't like the look of it one bit, but hey, it will do the job so next job is we've got a tiny bit of welding uh, you can't actually see it there's a bracket that holds the steering column in there behind there it needs to be fully welded in once that's done everything basically from the bulkhead back is ready for paint so that'll keep mark busy for a couple of evenings i'm sure Put that one's in you from the other side yes yeah, so I decided to go up and over there isn't much room for dials I think this, this, this should be enough there should be enough room I'm sure uh, there you go you can get a piece that comes down from there down to the floor I might try and see if I can get that I might tidy up a bit a bit more I think but yeah dash is in we might get it flocked, I think, so it doesn't look so um, odd. And it should hopefully, with cutting those slits in, should just give us just a little air coming through to for the heater, just to defrost that window. So uh, yeah, on to the next job, Mark, innit? As he's uh, just returned. Next job. Next job. Let's weld that bracket for yeah. the power steering. Yeah, we'll weld that one. I think so it's just under there, so we'll just show you that. So we got the bracket for the uh, steering all welded in. So it's all welded in now. So that's the last thing to uh, obviously do. See, we've took the dash back out. So now it's a case of sanding it all back, getting rid of any rust bits because there's still some rust on that bar. Well, that's hot from obviously the uh, thing. There's some rust coming through here. It's a bit of rust there, but it's all surface. So, get this all cleaned up and ready for some paint. So, a quick update. I've just got back from holiday. So, while I've been away, Mark has kindly sprayed the inside. So, just give you a quick update. There's he sprayed the inside. The back's looking very good. But the front, unfortunately, a couple of bits reacted and some fillering work needs to be done to make it as smooth as possible. The cage didn't go too bad. There's a couple of bits that there's like weld little nobbles on it that needs flattening back. There's one there. There's a little run there. But overall, very happy how that went. 
He also sent me a little video while I was away of the boot. So the boot is, I would say, done. Apart from the wiring. So try and get all that mess of wiring a bit sorted out. But inside, is sprayed. So today's plan is to sand it back, get it smooth and give it another coat, see how it looks, see if we need a third one, hopefully not. Uh, so yeah, get it sanded back a bit. So I'm going to jump in and get smoothing it out. I think first job though, quick hoover, tidy up that little corner. So a bit of a sip rep update. So we be uh, been sanding down inside, trying to get rid of as many problem areas as we could. There was a couple we didn't really like, there was a couple of little pit bits there. To be fair, I'd be quite a while showing you if I showed you them all. But yeah, we've just been going through, cleaning up as much of the areas as we could find. So uh, yeah, I think that's done for tonight. i come back a couple of days time and uh, hopefully finish that sanding down and we can get another coat of paint on the inside so then give you an update then hopefully so we put some black texture paint down just to give it a little bit more grip and cover any very small imperfections just makes it a bit little bit more grippy with your feet so we've done that so the next job is to give it a quick quick rub back, um, not rub back, sorry, tack cloth to get rid of any bits, peel off the masking tape and then get it ready to uh, spray the inside of the car again, hopefully. With a bit more of the prep work, it should look a lot cleaner and neater. So uh, that's the next job. It took a little bit of the paint off, so we don't want prep work. But we wanted the top surfaces here and here to be smooth, and we just wanted the foot wells. Didn't really do under the seats, but we thought it'd be better. Uh, so done the yeah, under the seats, the foot well, just to give it a little bit more grip. Uh, so yeah, we have a little bit of prep work to do back on here. I'll get the tack rags, wrap it down, and then go from there.
goes. So an update on the paint job. Mark's just finished. Shall we have a little, uh, what did you think of that, Mark? It's okay. It's not, it's not brilliant. Um, if anybody's painted a tubular roll cage or anything tubular, it's, it's not fun. It's not fun. You know, it's not, um, it's not a fun job. And what are you cleaning there? The needle out of my gun. Oh. <laughs> just didn't to. I didn't know what that was then just to make sure it's all nice and clean. So yeah, I'll give you a quick rundown of the inside, show you around it. And yes, there's, a, there's a, a few little areas Mark picked up on when he was going. You may, you may see a nod of the head in the, uh, in the video. There's a bit on the passenger side Mark completely missed, I've just noticed. Mark underneath the roll cage the other side. <laughs> yeah, but like I said to you earlier, you know, we've, um, we've got a few bits still to touch up. It's just hard doing the cage and then think, oh, I've missed a bit and you can't get back into it. No, exactly. Um, so yeah, there is a few bits. There will be a few bits. So, you know, we have discussed that it's probably gonna go matte inside for glare, so. There'll be a few bits that we can uh, touch up before we put the matte lacquer on. Yeah, so the thing we did discuss uh, before um, is yeah, going matte with a lacquer just to try and get some of the glare off because uh, it's not going to be a carpeted or anything like that inside. So just to take the glare off, as you can, it's just being sprayed. So I don't know how glary it is. It looks alright on on the camera. So I said there's a couple of bits there. Everything else. It's the same over that side as well, but we've got a few little bits to touch up. There's a tiny bit on the roll cage there. There's a few bits, but overall, very good. Very happy with it. We knew it wasn't going to unfortunately be a one hit wonder. It's a roll cage, like Mark said, being tubular, pain in the ass. But we're hoping the outside is going to be a lot easier. So. He did spray with what was left, a bit of the outside, just to see what it actually looks like on the outside, the paint. And I'm very happy with the colour. Obviously, this hasn't even been sanded back properly yet, these panels. So that one, well that one's not even been sanded back properly, but... It's not even primed. Yeah, it's not even primed yet, is it? But we just whacked it on there. He did also do the rear partial shelf while we had the chance and a bit of uh, paint left over so yeah there's the update so i think what i'm gonna do now is yeah we'll wrap up this video and in the next video hopefully we'll have that sprayed and then we'll get the engine out and get the front bulkhead sprayed so uh see you on the next one guys coming in episode three oh, oh, oh.